Hey, let's look at the last two now. It's a nice day. The sun finally came out. The rain went away. And uh, if you don't remember, uh, this is the third wave of the Galaxy version. Uh, I don't know why they're calling them the Galaxy versions, but I guess that's how they differentiate these from the, um, the movie versions. Which I am not sure now which ones are coming to America. I now think about it because, I don't know, by then the movie hype should be over with unless they're coming out with another movie. But why they even try with the razor? Might as well just go and cut it. So this is um, if you're going left to right, top to bottom. This is the eighth one, so we got one more left, and uh, it's either going to be one of two things: either Red Alert or the robot version of the uh, slag. I think it's the same slag slug. All right, so let's aim it down now that we got it. Oh man, that is some strong shadowing. Yeah, it's pretty late here. All right. And I probably should have done this in a different area. Now that I think about it. Uh, that's not going to help any at all. Oh, well. So we got the instructions. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm not sure why it's going on with the neighbors. Okay, pulling out the colors for these. I don't know if I'm just looking at the hands because it could be anything. Uh, it's definitely slag. <laughs> definitely slag. <clears throat> okay, so here's slag's pog. And this is some terrible lighting because it's toward the end of the day here. Um... I'm guessing like three to four, four o'clock or something. All right, so this is the slag robot, not the slag dino. So there's uh, instructions that are different for it, including some of the facial things like this. This goes into this in a very peculiar way. Not, okay, this is one of the harder parts. I hope this isn't too much of a strain of the contrast of light and darkness. Now, see, there was no bugs like five minutes ago. Now all the bugs are coming after me. Because after the rain, we got bugs. Yeah, you're like, you're wasting time. I know, I should have done it. If I'd have looked at this ahead of time, I would have changed, I guess, be on the other side. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. All right, so we got these. There's a lot of pieces with this one. I'm just amazed and kind of overwhelmed by all the pieces. Okay, put the horns in. Make sure you got something lined up right there. And I hope this is not too much shadowing. The shadows are making it so much darker on the light to dark, <clears throat> the way the camera works. All right, so that's the skull. It goes on the back piece. Here's the back piece that it goes to. And then you also attach this. <coughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. Okay, that's rather strange. You have to attach this for that little bitty part that's showing. I feel like it was going to break. It was so hard to get into there. All right, that's all part of his back. That's not the common part. Okay. Here's a little thing that I didn't see before. It has accessories like logo and then these little things and this. So, all right. So, I guess the rest of it, we just go for like we normally do. Um, although his chest is very okay here's some things like okay i didn't see it way over here so yeah there's the head is different of course and i uh, from what i saw of the remakes of some of the older ones they did start using light piping and that's probably why they're going with the eyes being a piece of plastic instead of painting on them and um so i was on the forums last night and i asked if other people had issues with the um well, gosh that doesn't look right though the uh, forms to see if anybody else had issues with their chrome and yep everybody else had the same issue well at least one other person that had the chrome guy um he had issues with the chrome you know i think 
be honest with you, I think it'd be better if you put, because you gotta go through that hole right there. Might be better to go in here first, and then back it up into the back of the head, which I just, I just flung across the entire place. Here we go. Now here is Slag's robot face. See, there's, there's the shadows, thank you. Thank you for going behind the clouds there, Mr. Sun. <coughs> I didn't notice till now, I was like, uh, unable to not cough. He is part of the Galaxy uh, version series three. He is number six out of nine. Okay. You get four of these little clear pieces right here. And that is because in case one breaks, I guess. Kind of like when Legos come with extra pieces, they didn't know where my cycle gonna break in the bag. Um, and that's the only unique things they talk about. They don't really show anything else. So I'm guessing I'm not having to guess from here. All right, um, looking at the way the chest is on him, and then there's this white piece to put on there. This is the front, which would be the dinosaur's jaw if it was, you know, in dinosaur mode. Like, rawr, like that. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, I forgot to use the shoulders. He's just so different that I'm like kind of going out of order here almost. Okay, good. Here, a rather large vehicle. I know that one of the neighbors said they're gonna have a friend. Well, my cats are starting to run. I don't know if it's coming down this way or not. But the house at the end of the street, uh, when I was growing up here, Wesley was working, or Wesley and Randy lived down there. And anyway, that's where somebody's about to come in either this weekend or next weekend. All right, so there we go, we got this, and then we got his massively huge backpack. Okay, so that's what makes him unique. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and now go in the regular order that I'd like to go in, let's pop the fist off. They're also open hands. I'm not as big, particularly a big a fan of uh, the open hands. This is a stand that you don't really need. And then I got one of the boxes that I just opened, a big, uh, nice little trash can. Yeah, I mean, I put the plastic into the plastic recycling uh, where we recycle here. It's open on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. Um, I am so glad the sun went back in because that was just way too much of a strong difference. Now, I'm, I could probably not have to sit like this angle I'm sitting at. Right, there we go. Let me sit normal again. All right, now putting these on, just remember to make sure you got a male and a female one. The elbows and the knees do not matter. They're they're the same, in other words. So you don't have to worry about, well, which ones are the elbows? The smaller ones? No, there's no smaller ones. They're exactly the same. Make sure that you have a, a joint right here. Don't accidentally mess up on the female one and get it backwards. If you do, it won't stay together. It'll just push itself apart because it won't lock in. I hear a very large vehicle somewhere. It might be the um, mailman. If it's four o'clock, it could be, I guess, on a Saturday. It's a Saturday, by the way, y'all. Okay, now, I don't really like to get these things in as soon as possible. Is it shaking on the screen? Because I know that the camera's attached to the part that keeps on wobbling. And this is clearly the left side of the leg. See the outside parts? And the feet are irrelevant. They're both exactly the same, which is a good thing. I usually like to put the clear piece in before I put them together. Okay, so I mean, everything behind me is not shaking, but my hands are probably appearing to be shaking. See, it wobbles a lot, unfortunately. You know, I do have a towel. I have to remember to put it underneath here next time. See if there's anything to wedge it. Nah, it's still doing it. Scissors. Okay. 
That's a little bit better. All right, now, legs. Oh yeah, I found out that it's better to do it on this part first, like on the femur. And again, the femur, it looks like the shoulders a lot of time, but the femur is a lot bigger, or a lot, yeah, a lot bigger than the, uh, I shouldn't say shoulders. Okay. So, again, uh, biceps, I guess. So it's easier to put it on the femur first and then put it down into the calf part. And I did not prepare his crotch first. Now his crotch piece is red. So um, the front and the back are exactly the same. The only thing that sometimes is different is sometimes these are painted. Um, and this one is one of the situations where it is painted. And you wanted to paint the piece to go to the front, not this side. <coughs> Otherwise, if they're not painted, they're exactly the same. So. Okay, now we can attach the legs. All right, he's got a sword, I like swords. All right, now for the arms. Um, again, check, make sure there's any paint on these and there's not, all right. I'm gonna put it into the bicep first and then this is the right arm for me because I always put the hole on the outside. I've seen people do it the opposite, but since Megatron has it that way, you know, and I'm going to try putting on, now does he go, yeah, okay, so they go sideways first. So I guess it'll be okay. Start doing the uh, shoulder pads before I put it onto the robot. Because I always just put it on afterwards, but yeah. It didn't go click, but it's going as far as you can possibly go. Yeah, it's sticking. The shoulder thing's not, the shoulder pad's not really doing so much of a good job sticking. So usually when they go down, that's when they stick better, but this one's sideways, so it's really different. They could have engineered it where to go down. So this, this one's a little bit different. Now, I mean, I'm one of those people that's choosy about whether we, these, which way these go, I like the Phillips head on the inside, even though it doesn't matter. You can't see it once you put this on, uh, whether it's the legs or the arms, it covers the holes on the side. You know what? There should be a click in there somehow. See, when they go down, they hold on better. That this side thing, I'm you rarely ever get a side one. Usually they slide down onto the shoulders. Okay, so what you got left over is you got the pog, you got the base over here, you got the two little whatever symbols, and the two open hands, and you also get the sword. <clears throat> so there he is and he is looking mighty awesome i must say the backpack has got a lot of kibble but it's okay it's supposed to like that i thought the white part would go on the outside to be honest with you but yeah whatever the way they have it designed it goes on the inside and then look at that the autobot symbol looks really good so just remember that you got a lot of articulation you got ball joints in the the, knee, the ankles thighs shoulders and wrist has a slight bit of a ball joint. And then you have, of course, the swivels. They, uh, they don't just go 90 degrees like Ben, but they also do swivels because of the way they're attached. So same thing for the legs. And the head, of course, you saw it's on a ball joint. And again, I do think they're gonna make a 2.0 like they did for a previous line they just did with Acid Storm. And it's got a, a LED light inside, the clear part right there for the neck. And this is clear. So it glows in the chest. Like I guess on this one, this part would be like, you know, clear if they make it for this one, if they do that. I don't know, they might decide to do a Dinobot set and they may even do like G2 colors, which would be freaking awesome. I say, I would actually, I would go for that. Like a LED G2 set. Yeah, that would be great. Guys, make it so. All right, the sword. Oh, okay, which way do I have the sword? Um, does that go in the front or the back? I mean, if I was to just make a choice, it would go in the back because it looks like it's more like reinforcement. It also interferes with the cutting part of the blade. So that's awesome. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.